So here we're looking at the absolute value between two points on a number line. So to get us started, we want to begin by letting a and b be two real numbers. Now, the distance between these points a and b can be defined as follows. So we can define the distance between point a and b as either the absolute value of a minus b, or equivalently, we can define this as the absolute value of b minus a. So in other words, the distance between these two points is the absolute value of their difference. So to help us better understand this, let's consider the following example. So in this example, we are asked to write an absolute value expression to represent the distance between the points negative 3 and 4, and then to take it one step further and actually find the distance between these points. Now, keeping our definition in mind, we know that we could do this one of two ways. So to really drive home that these are in fact the same, let's consider both ways. So notice here how I've set the absolute value for the difference between the two points up both ways. Now in case one, we have the absolute value of negative three minus four. So this is leaving us with the absolute value of negative seven. Now keeping that definition in mind, since negative seven is negative, it's less than zero, we know that the absolute value of negative seven is gonna be the opposite value of negative seven. Or in other words, minus a minus negative seven, and a negative times a negative will produce a positive value, leaving us with a distance of seven units. Now, to make sure that we've actually performed the correct operation and have no algebra errors, let's consider doing this in the opposite direction. So here we have the absolute value of four minus a minus three. So again, negative times a negative, we know will produce a positive value leaving us with the absolute value of four plus three is seven. And since seven is non-negative, we know the absolute value of this number is the number itself. And lo and behold, we have the same distance. No matter which way we decide to set this up, we have the same distance between the points. And we can further verify our answer here by thinking about the number line. So we can think about here is negative three on the number line, and here is positive four as we are looking for the distance between these two points. So we can literally count the ticks or count the length in between. So we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units away from each other, confirming the answer that we found algebraically.